Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, I want to give you a quick tip on how to expand your seamless backdrop in Photoshop. There are a few reasons why you'd want to do this. Maybe you want to be creative or, you know, you're trying to like fit your picture into Instagram uh, with the 4 by 5 aspect ratio or, or any aspect ratio at the end of the day, but you just want the whole image to show. This is a good um, way to do that. Now, this would only work for seamless backdrops. And before you do, you have to make sure that the backdrop, like I said, is seamless. You know, you don't have like this crazy color variations or whatever on the backdrop. So we're going to be using this image of FXR that I shot for Jamia Jafar. You guys should check them out on Instagram. Yep, yep, yep. So let's get straight into this. The first thing that I'm going to do is use my color range to actually check if my background is seamless. So I'm just going to go to select, then go to color range. And I'm just going to, yes, it. It looks seamless, you know, pretty much. It looks seamless, so um, I don't think there's much I'll do here. But, you know, I'll show you guys how to correct it if, you know, on the long run something happens and it's not seamless. I'll show you guys how to correct it. Now, the first thing, or sorry, the next thing I'm going to do is pick my crop tool right here. Once I pick it, I just want to make sure that my foreground color and my background color actually match. So um, it's just white and black. So now I'm going to hold the shift key so I can actually expand my um backdrop with the crop tool using the same aspect ratio that the image already has now if i don't hold my shift key i can just you know like just freestyle and you know make it look the way i want it to look so this is with the shift key you can see it's just going to expand with the same exact um what do you call it aspect ratio um click crop now if i don't have my shift key it's not going to definitely not going to look like this so let me show you that so if i just pick my crop tool I don't have my shift key I can just you know just move around like this but once I hold shift you know I can fit into the proper aspect ratio that the image came with so now I'm going to click OK now this can be black it can be white it can be any color that's like the background you've expanded you know don't worry we're going to fix that now the next thing I'm going to do is pick my my rectangular marquee tool right and just select all the way down when you are doing this make sure that you have at least some space um, at the edges of your image so like your background actually extends more than your model or your subject or whatever you're trying to um, your whatever subject you have in the image make sure that your background extends beyond your subject so now we're going to hit command T or control T on PC and just drag this out this way then click enter then we're going to do that again for the top so command D or control D to deselect Make sure that I pick my rectangular marquee tool again. And now I'm just going to select the top part of this image. Command T. And I will just drag this up. Let me zoom out a little bit. Just drag this up to the top. And click. Okay. As you can see, this looks good. You know, obviously it's not perfect. We have this little patch here that you guys can see that has some little kind of like, I don't know what to call it, but maybe um our background wasn't seamless at that top so we are having this right here i'm going to show you guys how to correct this um right away so now we've expanded our um, backdrop it's very simple it's easy if your image is if your background is seamless you will not have to go through the remaining process that i'm about to show you guys but if it's not we're going to use frequency separation to you know solve this so i'm just going to create a frequency separation action definitely check the link below if you want to see like any frequency separate oh sorry the exact frequency separation action that i'm using not anyone so now um just reduce my radius like for click okay so this is going to create like this frequency separation um layer for me so i have my high frequency and my low frequency so for my low frequency um i'm just going to be working on my low frequency now i'm going to pick the lasso tool and just select you know, my subject it really does not have to be accurate. So I'll just select this way, make sure I go around like this. Okay, so everything is selected like this. Um, Command J or Control J to duplicate this layer. Then I'll come to a filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm just going to increase my blur to like somewhere around 100. You guys can see, click OK. And this is gone. I still have some little, um, I would say, um, textures here that I don't like. So I'll come to my high frequency, just pick my clone stamp tool, make sure my flow is 100, my opacity is 100. And I'm just going to sample from here and just paint over, sample from this side, and just paint over all these places, make sure like it's just 
smooth. Now I can decide to just blow my high frequency out, but you know, I still like my images to have some same kind of texture in them. So yeah, that's about it. So we have it looking nice now. The next thing I want to do is just remove this little dark patch that's here. So what I'm going to do is come back to my color range and make sure this place is selected just right here. And I'll click OK. So you can see it's selected way more than that. Um, just create like a new curves adjustment layer with this. And I'm just going to, yeah, make that brighter. And that's, that's about it. That's how good it looks now. So let's see uh, before and after. So this is how you expand your backdrop and have it look seamless. So I'm just going to merge, put this in a group, or I'll just merge everything together. So let's come to our history and show you our before. So this is our before, this is where we were, and this is our after, before, after. It's simple and really, really easy to do. Now, I hope this tip has helped you guys out, and I hope this will help you guys out in more projects that you do. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, that's the bell icon, and be one of the first people to know when I put out new content. And yeah, like I said, my birthday is coming up pretty soon, and I'm trying to drop content every day before my birthday, which is May 28. So I appreciate it if you guys can subscribe to the channel, comment below, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Prince Mason. Have a great, great, great week. Peace.